I will cover two things in this video. The first is that two reactors are installed in this inverter mini split air conditioner outdoor circuit board. The second is that this component, which is a current transformer, in short, known as CT, is mounted in this inverter circuit. I will explain both of these components to you. This type of reactors, which are also dual reactors but packaged in a single case are used in these inverter circuit boards. But this reactor and the reactors in the circuit board are a little different. Now, in this circuit board, two reactors and, with it, two IGBT and two diodes are used. I will make you explain about all these dual components installed in this circuit board through the circuit diagram I have drawn. These are the two reactors, DC320 positive voltage supply is given to these reactors through this point. The negative DC supply is given on this point. This is how this circuit completes. These two IGBT and two diodes are used in pulse width modulation, and these two reactors filter out the spikes from the current. The current moves around one time from the first reactor and the second time from the second reactor. This helps to improve the current, which improves the circuit's power factor. Now I will explain this current transformer to you. The current transformer is used to measure the load that the compressor is consuming. It is installed on the AC section of the circuit board, whereas the reactors are installed near the DC electric supply. This reactor is also used with the DC supply. However, in this reactor, coils are installed to measure the amperes. Mean it is a two-in-one component. This is the difference between this and the simple reactors installed in the circuit board. Hence, the current transformer is used separately in this circuit board. However, this current transformer is not used on every circuit board. In those circuits, shunt resistors are used to measure the current on the load. A shunt resistor is a fixed resistor that measures the current flow in the circuit. And if you take a look at the current transformer, its diagram looks something like this. A thick single wire is used on the primary side. A core is in the center. Then, the secondary coil, also known as the burden coil. Some percentage of the current that is flowing in the primary coil will transfer to the secondary coil. The current that has transferred in this secondary or burden coil will be seen on the feedback of the microcontroller. This will make the microcontroller know how much current flows on the load. I am tired now, and I run on coffee. So buy it for me on Patreon. Click the link on the screen to visit. Click on the left or right thumbnail to watch our next videos. And subscribe. Thank you.